everyone and welcome to Cooking with Cricket. Today I'm going to show you how I do boiled peanuts. Now boiled peanuts, pretty much we all love it here in the south. Uh, usually you find them at flea markets or fruit stands. We have a man that we, uh, when we're not growing tomatoes, that I got the pink eye purple whole peas from. He has boiled peanuts and it's five dollars for a small bag. So. I do occasionally, when we find peanuts at a good sale, buy some to boil, and we found some today. We found a quarter of a bushel for five dollars, and that is a great deal. So the trick is, it's hard to give exact measurements and stuff, but this is a pound of peanuts. I'm not washing them or nothing, just throwing them in the crock pot, and I'm probably going to add about another half pound. Okay, here's another pound. Now, the trick is getting the right amount of salt and not too much salt. You do not want to use regular iodized table salt. You want to use the salt that don't have the iodine or iodized whatever in it. Well, for five pounds, you would add two-thirds cup of non-iodized salt to a gallon of water. But I'm not going to add that much. One tablespoon. Two tablespoons. I've added two tablespoons of kosher salt. You can always add more salt, but you can't take salt away. And now I'm just going to fill it up with water. Alright, that's almost filled to the top. I don't know if you can see that. That's why I stuck my hand in there. It's almost filled up to the top. Now I'm just going to put my lid on. It's in my crock pot. It's 7.30 in the evening. And I'm going to put it on low. And let it just cook on low all night. If I'm up and in the kitchen, I may come in here and give them a little stir. But in the morning, and I'll get up early. I get up early anyway. I'll come in here and check them and check them for doneness and check them for salt because you want to get the right amount of salt but if it needs more salt we can adjust it then but I'll bring you back in the morning all right my peanuts has been going all night As you can see some of the water has evaporated I'm gonna give them a good stir And Ricky's going to try one to see how tender they are and if we need to add more salt. I, I think they're salty enough myself. But. Okay, good, good. So, they're done. He thinks they're salty enough. They ain't too salty, are they? Uh, no. Okay. Because if they was too salty, I would have just added more water. So, what I'm going to do, because they're still real hot, is I'm going to cut the crock pot off. And I'm going to let them just sit in the brine for a couple of hours till they cool down. And then I'll be back from that point. I've left my peanuts sitting till they've cooled some. Now when you check them for doneness, if they're not salty enough, you can add some more salt because you're going to let them sit in the uh, brine for a little bit longer. So now we're just going to take them out and store them. You can eat them now. Uh, what you have left over, just put it in the refrigerator and you can reheat what you want in the microwave. Usually what I do is take a microwave safe bowl, put what I want to eat in there and put it in the microwave for a few seconds, stir it around a few more seconds till they're warm. They're really good and this is how I do the crock pot method or the slow cook method. So do you like boiled peanuts? Let me know. But you can also cook them on top of your stove. So thanks for watching. And until my next video, I hope you enjoy. Bye, y'all.